What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bite the Bait Fishing. So today we came back to Biscayne National Park, Chris and myself. We had a great time last week. So we're trying to repeat the same situation. We're gonna go out to the reef, we're gonna chum the waters up real big time, and we're gonna try to catch some bottom fish, either some grouper or some snapper, but at the same time, we're gonna be yellowtail fishing and hopefully we'll catch a limit of yellowtail. And then at the end of the video, we're gonna do a catch and cook. So stay tuned, hopefully we'll get on the fish, and then at the end of the video, we're gonna be able to do some cool recipes and taste them on camera for you. So I'll see you guys out there. Looks like it's ready to already start going. Oh yeah, look at how quick it's already going out. Just keep it chum. Give it a work. Super careful dropping them down so far off the hook. <laughs> Time to go yellow tailing. Better check this rod out real quick. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> shit! Check that rod, dude, if you want. That shit bent over. Oh man. To tighten up this drag a little bit. That's a nice. That was quick too. So I was about to. They like that fresh line. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm gonna do one of these days when I have some extra cash. I'm gonna get like a little one or two thousand size reel. I think so, man. It's bigger. Trigger? I can't tell. He's not a yellow tail. It's white. Is it's a mackerel, I think. No, it's a mangrove. No, broke me off. It was a mackerel. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Well, Came off. Could have been a bit of mangrove snapper, dude. Mm. Moving out again on tails? Not a bad thing. <laughs> so right behind the boat, dude. That's... This one's coming in. Get him. Get him. Come on, dude. I've already tightened this drag like four times. <laughs> Told you. He's coming in. I already see the color. Stop turning him. That's a yellow tail. That's actually a decent one, bro. That's what I'm talking about. Finally on the bird. <laughs> Oh, and the hook came out right there. Right there. <laughs> Where'd he go? Dude, this is a decent... Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> this is how we do it. No, man, that's fun. Gotcha. What'd you do with a bigger jig head? With one of those little green ones, the one of the new ones that I had picked up recently. Uh, no, dude, don't even tell me that. We are. We are? Yeah, Ooh. Decent one again, I think. Yeah. They're still there. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Try the one that I just put on. Yeah. This one right here. Those are the new ones that I got at Don's. Not a bad one. Not, it's not huge. But but he's a good one. I'll take him. Yeah, that's what matters. Dude. Sweet yellowtail, you guys. Take it. Like that. Boom. Take a look, guys. Use these little yellowtail magic jigs and then cut bait. See if we get another one here. See if we get a yellowtail here. Steady action on the reef. That's it. Instant, boy. Instant on the squid, dude. Oh, it's what is that? 
be a yellow tail. It I think it's a tail, bro. Yeah. They're just right up there behind the boat. Not a bad one either. Feisty guy. Quick yellow tailor, man. Look at that, you guys. What a pretty fish. Let me, let me double check this guy's size. I think he's a keeper, but... Oh yeah, 15 inches. What's going on you guys? So we're back for the second portion of the video. Um, it's the next day, we got some fresh yellowtail snapper that we caught out on the reef. It was a great time as you guys saw, we caught a lot of fish again. We're gonna go set everything up and show you how we Cubans cook our yellowtail snapper. So we are finishing the cleaning of the fish out here with my grandfather. He's doing it Cuban style, the easier way. We're not filleting them. The knives aren't too sharp, the ones that we had inside the kitchen. So I did one that I filleted and then he's finishing up the rest and then we're gonna go ahead and cook these up for you. All right, you guys, so these are the ingredients that we are using today to make a little home recipe. This is what I grew up eating my snapper with when my family used to cook it. So my grandfather likes to cook the snapper in rolls. He doesn't like filleting them. He likes to clean them all up like that, descale them, take the guts out, and then fry them whole. So we got some lemons, we got some powder, we got some salt, and some lemon pepper seasoning. Lemon pepper. And then we're going to put these guys right into the fryer. So take a look. First up, after you clean the yellowtail, you got to wash these off, rinse them. Uh, you're going to put some lemon pepper seasoning on them. Some fresh squeezed lemons. Next step, you're going to throw your yellowtail rolls into the powder. Give them that nice breading. Wouldn't be possible without the Publix bag, as you can see. Make sure you have one of those handy. Oh yeah. Look at that. That is ready for the fryer. Yo creo que ya con eso, ¿no? Esto es para negocio. Esto no es... Esto no es... Ya he hecho solo dos. Man, I don't know. Por si acaso. All right, you guys. So we are back outside. We got our fresh cut fillets and fish rolls. They're all powdered up and ready to go. We got the fryer warming up at the moment. I'm here hanging out with my grandfather today, and we're about to go and throw those guys in there. As soon as the fryer is nice and ready, I'll get you guys in there so you can see a clip of those fish getting all nice, crispy, and tasty. And we're gonna do a couple of uh, fried plantains. Um, we Cubans call them tostones. I might be given the original term incorrectly, but we're gonna make some we're gonna make some tostones with our fried fish, and that's how I used to eat these fish growing up as a child. That's how I grew up eating snapper and all types of different fish here at my grandparents' house. Uh, this is how my grandfather likes to cook them. So it's pretty fun, it's very tasty. I love it, it's probably my favorite way to eat fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and stay tuned for the end when we uh, finish cooking them and we get to enjoy the fish. Yeah. Hueva de pescado. Hueva de My grandfather's throwing in uh, something that he used to eat in Cuba from the fish that he says that's delicious. I'm not so daring to try that, but 
he likes it, so we're gonna throw that in there with it. That's just uh, pure deliciousness right there. No, let me show you guys what this looks like finished. My grandfather Mario right here. We're just chilling today, having some beer. But we're gonna dig into this right now and enjoy some fresh fish. Absolutely delicious. Yeah. Nice, golden crisp, very white flaky meat. Yellowtail snapper, that's probably some of the best eating fish you can get out here in South Florida. These Hawaiian plantains, we call them tostones. They probably call them tostones in Hawaii as well. But they are so delicious. You just fry them up really quickly. They're very thin. What they do is they get these banana looking plantains. They cut them into rolls and then you start to fry them. Halfway into frying them, you take them out and you basically you squash them down. This is what you do when you have them fresh. You get yourself something that you can squeeze them flat. It turns them into a roll. I'm gonna show you what the roll looks like. That right there, that's a plantain right there that's been squashed down. So you can tell it's very thin. You do that halfway into frying it, and then you put it back in the fryer, and you let it get nice and toasty. Tastes really good with butter, salt, a little bit of garlic is really good with it too. Make yourself a little garlic dip. Um, and it's very delicious, it's good with your snapper, it's good with your seafood, and it's pretty much good with all types of food. Got my cousin that just got here from college. Come in bro, come be part of the video, man. What's up, brother? What up, dude? My cousin Danny's in town. What up? Got some nice, nice, what do we got here? Snapper? Snapper, dude. Again. When would you catch it? We caught it yesterday. Ooh, nice. You got So I got the whole family here. Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah. My grandmother, my cousin Danny, my grandfather just left the screen. So we're just hanging out here today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this catch and cook. Eating the fish. <laughs> Enjoying the fresh caught snapper. They love it when I bring it back home. So that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you enjoyed this catch and cook. Let us know in the comment section below what you thought of the video if you guys want us to do more catch and cooks on this channel. And as always, if you're new to Bite the Bait Fishing, make sure you subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.